Kilimanjaro, let's uh, we're just uh, getting your thoughts around the market this week. Quite, quite an eventful week. We saw the prime market, market auction happen there. We're also seeing liquidity continue to improve. And, uh, let me get your thoughts on the market and what we can expect next week, especially with that bond auction. Oh, yes. Uh, you're right. We did have the NTB auction. Uh, we saw subscription in by ab about $900 billion at the auction. Um, it's worthy to note that the auction closed at rates, um, at exactly the last stop rates, with the long end, which was the most sought after bill, closing at 20.7%. At next week's bond auction, which is scheduled to hold on Monday, uh, we are expecting the DMO to offer three bonds, uh, the 29, 31, as, as well as the 2033. Uh, what is mo most noteworthy in that auction is that uh, the DMO substituted the 2034, which was the bond that was on offer at the previous auction, uh, with a new 2033 bond, which would be offered uh, on Monday. And that's the bond that we predict will be the most sought after paper going into the auction. Uh, as you noted, we have an average of about 450 billion that will be offered across these three maturities next week on Monday. All right, there's quite a lot to expect next week as well. We have the inflation numbers coming, and even further down the line, we'll get the next Monetary Policy Committee meeting uh, coming up. I just spoke to the IMF mission chief, and he, he was of the view that uh, if we see further tightening play out in the market that uh, uh, from the monetary authorities, that we could see inflation go down as low as 24% by the end of the year. Let me hear your sentiments on this, these issues. Yeah, so we expect that we will start to see inflation taper off towards the uh, second half of the year given some of the policies that the uh, central bank has been putting in place as it relates to mopping up liquidity in the system, as well as on the fiscal side, we are seeing some reforms around, um, around agri agri agriculture to reduce food supply, as well as um, the expectation of um, some more supply coming in as far as petrol and diesel goes. Uh, so we expect that towards the end of the year, we should see inflation come down. Um, as far that, as, uh, as it relates to that 24% target, uh, you know, we, it remains to be seen, but we, we do expect that inflation will reduce in the second half of this year. All right, then thank you so much for your time. I've been speaking with Ola Demedio Basa, the Treasury team member at Access Bank.